Hey everybody, I'm Chris and this is my channel Chesapeake Chris. Thanks for stopping by. Well, we had our week down at Rodanthe in the Outer Banks. We had a house right on the ocean. In fact, with, her, with Earl out there churning the ocean all up, the waves and the tide, when it was high tide, the waves would actually come up under the house. So we did a lot of fishing on the beach and uh, we went out on a uh, charter again, like we always do. We chartered Aaron from Cobia Killer or Carolina Sunrise. Look him up if you're down there. He'll make sure you get some fish. He gets you on fish and you'll have a good time and you'll catch a lot of fish, at least we always do. I got a lot of video from the Outer Banks. I don't want real long videos. So I think I'm gonna have about four videos coming out here in the near future from the Outer Banks trip. So if you wanna see all the fish we caught and all the fun we had at the Outer Banks, please stick around for these videos. Staying in a house right on the beach, and I mean right on the beach. At high tide, the water actually comes up under the house. There's one. Look at that, comes all the way up to the house. Hold on, I'm screwing up here. So that's the first thing you caught. What is that? What, a burlap bag? Oh, that used to be a sandbag, I think. Okay, well, either way, nice first catch. So we've been here a couple days. The fishing's been horrible because of Earl out there. The sea, the ocean's been really rough. The tides have been super high. We haven't really caught anything yet. I'm down here Tuesday morning. I'm gonna see if I can't catch something with cut bait. All right, I got her. And he's happy, dude. Holy cow. Nice first fish. Get back out there. Yeah, we'll do. Okay. Good? Yeah. I caught a little flounder this morning. In this video, Ray's talking to his mother-in-law and you can see all of a sudden he gets a bite and hooks a fish. And what a fish it was. A red. Yep, that's a red. I'll bet you anything. Ray hooks something decent. I'm telling you, that's a red, I'll bet. Just take your time. Don't let him pull you in the ocean. Take your time. Like I say, let the waves work for you, man. Maybe bigger than mine, dude. There you go. Take your time. You got a good circle hook on there? Yeah. Just when you get him into these waves, they're gonna wash him in. You got a real like. <laughs> oh, that's a big <laughs> fish there, boy. Well, come on. Take your time. We just want to see it. I'll bet you a dollar. That's a big <laughs> red. I bet it's too big. I bet he's not in the slot. Not that it matters. You are the man. I say once you get him into these waves, they'll help. Once you get him in here close enough, it's when the waves go back out, he's really gonna pull. There you go, real, real, real. Got him, buddy. That's got to be a big red. It's got to be. Man, he's pulling. I can hear him pulling your drag.
Taking you all up and down the beach, man. Come on, wave, help them out, help them out, help them out. Harriet, oh my God, that's a huge red. That is definitely not in the slot. I, I got a tape measure if you want to measure him, but he is not in the slot, dude. Oh my God, he's big. Jesus. Okay, the 42 inch red. Biggest one we caught yet. This is a slot fish area, but we're throwing them back anyways. We throw them all back. So Ray's gonna try and throw that big 42 incher back. He gotta catch his breath. There he goes. Woo, baby! Woo! <laughs> Damn! I have caught this guy. Got him off the hook though. Get him back in the water. Yeah, they got big teeth, you don't... Can I go grab my phone real quick? Wow. Right Fishing this morning and... Whoa, he fell off. Derek caught a flounder. Well, he'll be easy to put back. Okay. They're very... I don't think you're... Oh, he won't. Flounders are... Okay. Good enough? Yeah. It looks like this gentleman's got another big drum. So we'll see what he pulls in. He already caught a shark this morning. Ray helped him get it off the hook. But we'll see what he pulls in. Okay, well I finally just hooked something big. I had 25 pound test on that outfit and I could not get him to quit pulling line. He was just pulling line, stripping it. I couldn't get him to stop. I mean, I, I had my drag set pretty good, but then where my big circle hook was on the 25-pound uh, test monofilament drop, it either broke or his teeth cut it. I don't know what it was, but it was big. I couldn't get him to stop. It may have been a shark. I'd hate to think that I just lost a shark, but I'm back out there. Since I lost that big thing I thought was a shark, I put a steel leader and a better rig on, and now I caught a blue. He's going back. Okay, I had a halfway decent swivel on. And as you can see, something basically ripped it right open and stole my steel leader, my hook, my sinker. No! But something ripped that swivel right open. So there's something out there. So it's Friday morning. This is the last morning we can fish. Uh, I got a little rig set up there that we've been catching bait fish with. We catch uh, mainly mullet. I caught a croaker. But uh, yeah, we're trying to catch some bait fish and then we're putting them on some big rigs to go way out there. I'd say we know there's shark here. We know there's big reds. So, well, we ain't had no luck yet. But you, I want you to take pictures. Heather, will you run this? It's running. Just keep it on him and the shark and I'll help him. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Feel big? Holy <laughs> You got a good one, buddy. You got your drag set good? Oh, you got 75 pounds. Oh, wait a minute. There he is. Oh, right here. That's Never mind. That's a nice red. That's a nice red. Okay. Either way, it's another nice red. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Clamp. There you go. All right. I was going to say, I got mine if you want them. Yeah, mine? go ahead. Here. Oh, mine are just good. Here. I mean, they're basically just like yours. See how circle hook hooked even inside the mouth? Yeah. Turned it. That's how they're supposed to do it. That's exactly what they're supposed to do. Can you get him? Or you want me to get it? 
Sometimes it's hard to hold them and get it. It's hard to get it out, I'm sure. It's a nice red. Yeah. It's a keeper. A lot of people will keep him. Don't step on your hook, brother. I'll get one. So that was the video covering our surf fishing at Rodanthe. After Earl pushed up and went up north, what a fantastic four days of surf fishing we had. I'm going to release some more videos. I'll release a video of the shark that I caught. I'm going to release probably two videos from when Captain Aaron Beetson took us out on a charter fishing trip, the Cobia Killer. Boy, did he ever get us into some fish. Those videos are coming in the near future. You guys know the drill. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up like. Share the video. Don't forget to please hit the subscribe button so you can see all my videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I put videos out. And leave as many comments as you'd like. I reply to all comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.